Welcome back troglodytes to the Troglies Guitar Show. This is going to be the last video of this poor little instrument here for a while because it's actually going to its new home. Now if you haven't seen the other videos I've done on this guitar, basically this guitar started as a Would You Rock or Not episode of a guitar that was just horribly disfigured. And I felt so bad for this guitar I ended up buying it because I was curious if I could actually string this up and make it a playable instrument. So I've personally taken this guitar as far as I can without risking destroying this thing. I don't have the capabilities to put a back cap on this or to fix this neck. However, I think I've done this guitar justice by making these videos because now more people see this as a playable instrument that just needs some love. My first video, everyone was saying this guitar should be burnt, it's just guitar shaped firewood, take it out back, shoot it, just a whole mess of things, but I had a feeling this guitar had a fighting spirit left in it. So this guitar actually has quite a history in the Phoenix, Arizona area where I originally purchased this guitar from. Apparently this belonged to a fairly well-known rhythm guitarist player and uh, he died and it got willed to his nephew or something like that and he's the one that did all this to it. I guess he didn't care for it very well. Something happened. Now as I've proven, you can string this up and play it just fine. If the neck ever gets any bowing or anything, I think you're out of luck because I really don't think this truss rod's gonna do much now that it's showing. But it is a viable instrument that can be restored. Now my initial plans for this guitar, I've done for the most part. I wanted to get it and actually show its real condition, you know, with video instead of just photos. And I wanted to see if it would string up and hold string tension. I had this thing with string tension for like two or three days and it held up fine. I don't really have any real worries about this neck ever just, you know, snapping off at the joint. However, I could never sell this guitar in good faith for top dollar. Now, I've had a lot of requests that I do a giveaway with this guitar. The reason why I can't do that is for a few different reasons. The first one, I'm not sure about the legality of giveaways. Usually the winner has to pay some sort of taxes, and I would rather just not deal with any of that if I don't have to. While I do like the idea of giving away, you know, cheaper guitars to people wanting to learn, uh, I would definitely have to look more into that. Secondly, I don't want to grow my audience by bribing people. Subscribe to me and you might win a guitar. Uh, I, I would rather people just watch me because they enjoy the content I produce. So my initial plan for this guitar at this point was to maybe partner with somebody, maybe a YouTube luthier, and we would do a video series of restoring this guitar. And after that, I was thinking about maybe we could auction it off for, you know, all proceeds go to charity or something like that. However, what kind of put a kink in that plan is not because of all of these offers I've gotten to buy this guitar. I think a lot of people were wanting to take it, make their own video series of it, and that's great. However, I received an email from somebody who actually knows of this guitar from the Phoenix, Arizona area. I guess he's been trying to track this butchered thing down because he has some sort of sentimental value with it. Now I didn't really probe his mind to see what kind of connections he has with this guitar, but he sent that email very early on before the video got all the views. So this guitar is actually going back to pretty much the same place it was originally shipped from. But I sold this guitar back to him under the premises that he will take photos of his restoration process. He's saying he has all the skills, and even though this thing doesn't have much monetary value left in it or the completed project, he wants to do it for sentimental reasons. So I talked with him, and he said he will document the restoration process. So hopefully I will be able to make a final part for this guitar when it is completely restored back to the way it used to be. So hopefully this isn't the last video of this guitar that we'll see, but it will probably be it for the next year or so. I don't know how long it'll take to restore this guitar, but I thought I would share that this guitar is moving on. Despite getting higher offers, I decided to go with this guy because 
This guitar really isn't about the money for me. I bought this guitar thinking, okay, I'm throwing away money. This thing's probably just gonna snap on me, but haha, ha, it'll make a funny video. So I'm glad this is going to somebody who cares about it. I think it is a great instrument. I think if somebody is just learning and they want the pedigree of having a Gibson, this guitar would be good enough as is, but it definitely needs some work to be brought up to 100%. So this guitar is going to be packed up and shipped out today, and hopefully we'll see it here within six months to a year in its original state. Thank you, Trollodice, for watching, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.